Hey guys! Thank you so much for clicking on my video. It's me, Yanni, and yes, I am blind. And um, today I want to talk about the symptoms I felt before I was diagnosed with retinal detachment and before I went blind. And before we continue, guys, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet and also like this video. So yes, what are the symptoms I felt before I lost my sight? The first one I felt was frequent headaches. At first, I thought it was only due to stress. I was a call center agent that time and so I had to work the night shift to match the time in the US. And indeed, working during the night was really stressful for me. Um, I also thought that the headaches were caused by sinusitis, which sometimes they were, but there were days that I would experience intense headaches even though my sinus was clear. Um, there were times that the headaches were so intense, were so bad that I had to go to the hospital to take injectable painkillers. Nonetheless, I ignored this symptom only because I really thought it was only due to stress. The next one I felt was um, blurred and distorted vision. Um, this happened after I resigned from my first job. So one afternoon while I was sitting in the living room, I noticed that the line on the corner of our wall was curvy. And I thought it was only an effect of uh, my frequent headaches. Um, I thought maybe it was um, vertigo or I was just dizzy or something. Um, also, this symptom would only appear in the afternoon or in the evening and my vision would go back to normal, I mean my normal, um, in the morning after having hours of sleep. Um, so I ignore this vision, um, I ignore the symptom only because again I thought it was just because of stress and that I had not uh, been able to recover yet. Um, from working the night shift. Um, also on top of that, I couldn't visit a doctor because I had no job that time. So I didn't have the money nor um, the health card to use to um, get myself checked. Anyway, so after that, I applied to another company, still as a call center representative but this company offers day shift. <clears throat> so I was thinking I could sacrifice working the night shift for, for a few months until I become a regular employee, then I would apply for a day shift schedule. So I had a really good plan. Um, also, it's, a, it's an in-house call center of an American bank, so the pay and the health card would be really good. Anyway, I got accepted and while I was going through the medical checkups that the company required, I noticed some things. So the first one was I was having difficulty reading the letters on the third line of the vision chart. Honestly though, even before this condition, I mean the retinal detachment, um, I could really only read the letter. Um, up to the third line of the vision chart. Um, but that time, I was really having difficulty. Um, I can't remember if I was able to read any of the letter, but um, I remember that I really struggled a lot. Um, another thing, I failed the Ishihara test. I probably pronounced that wrong. So yeah, I failed the Ishihara test or the color perception test. I had never failed the Ishihara test before that. And so not being able to see the numbers and um, failing the test really surprised me a lot. I think I, I, think I was only able to um, correctly answer 6 or 8 out of 20 plates. So. I was really shocked and I thought that was weird. Then the last thing was when they gave me this um, container for the urine test. So yeah, so I filled the container with my PP. <laughs> That's probably too much info. Then um, I went to, uh, I approached the nurse and the nurse told me 
to place the container with the yellow top on the counter. And I paused and think. And I thought he was referring to um, the other test, not the urine test. So I said, um, I, so I told him that I have the, uh, the container with the, the pink top. He ignored what I said and obviously he didn't know what I was talking about and um, he was too busy to ask as well. So he just said to put the container with my urine on the counter. So I went to the wind to the lab window and on the counter I saw this other containers that look exactly like the one I was holding with the pink top. So anyway, I wrote my name, leave my container on the counter beside these other containers and I went home confused. So I, as soon as I got home, I went on the internet and I searched for yellow images. And to my surprise, I was looking at pink images instead. It didn't bother me because um, pink is my favorite color anyway. But then I remembered the Ishi Hara test. So I went to search for green images and I was so shocked to see gray images instead. And that was the time that I thought that, that was the time when I thought that I might really have something serious. So yeah, um, I still attended the training for my new job and I remember that I really struggled a lot. Like I really struggled moving around the company building. Also that time I already became a nightline so my mom would um, accompany me every night when going to my job or when going to work um, and also there was this one time um, I went home crying and I had a bump on my forehead because I accidentally hit my head on um, the locker door so yeah I was really struggling a lot um, it was really difficult for me but I had no choice I had to work anyway so as soon as I got my health card um, I went to see a doctor um, and since the health care plan was really good I was able to um, see a doctor in Asian hospital in Alabama without paying anything and that was the time when I was diagnosed with retinal detachment and I was advised to undergo operation or ma major operations. So yeah, guys, so yeah, those are the symptoms I felt um, before I lost my sight. And yeah, I really hope that you guys like this video. If you have any question, feel free to comment down below. And thank you again for watching. It's me, Yanni, and peace and love, guys. Bye!